Utah is at major risk of losing access to nearly 1,000 miles of incredible motorcycle, OHV trails, roads, and many other areas used for dispersed camping in the San Rafael Swell area in the southeast part of the state. And we need your help. We need five to 10 minutes of your time to save a lifetime of riding and camping. The Bureau of Land Management has proposed four new travel management plans for the San Rafael Swell area. A travel management plan designates where people can and can't use vehicles like cars, trucks, jeeps, motorcycles, ATVs, and UTVs, and they affect all of us. Of the four proposed travel management plans, we have heard that the BLM's preferred choice is option B, which would shut down nearly 1,000 miles of trails and roads, including the famous Five Miles of Hell Trail, v and J's Trail, the Waterfall Trail, and many others used for all types of recreating. Not only that, but it would greatly reduce the amount of access to areas available for dispersed camping. If you love to camp, ride, and explore the San Rafael Swell area, and you want to help prevent this, it is critical that you get involved and help. The only way to have your voice heard is by submitting comments to the BLM. This is a two-step process that we'll cover in detail. First, you must fill out specific comments about the trails you know and use, and then submit them to the BLM. The Utah Public Lands website has an easy to use tool for drafting your comments and we'll show you that and how to submit your comments to the BLM shortly. When you are filling out your comments, there are critical components that you'll want to include. And remember, the more unique and personal you make your comments, the better. To get started, you can use the provide a link in the description or the bio of this video. When you are filling out your comments, here are the critical components to remember. Use route numbers to specifically identify trails. This is more efficient than just trail names. We've already identified many of the most popular trails and road numbers to help speed up this process. However, if the trail or road you use is not on this list, you can use the provided map on the comment page to find it. You can also click on any of the trails or roads on this map, and it will tell you if that trail will be open or closed in each individual travel management plan, as well as an environmental assessment. These tools can give useful information when making your comments. In your comment, include why you value that trail or the area. How will this closure impact the quality or your experience? Try to include specific comments about specific routes you use, such as how often you use those trails and the type of recreating you do there. Include specific photos if you have them. Use facts where possible to support your comments. Also, don't forget to point out any errors in the plan. If you see a trail or a road that will remain open, but the travel management plan will not allow a way to access it, point that out. Explain which travel management plan you think is the best option. In our case, we want option D. And remember, you need to submit a comment for each individual trail or road that you use. Here are some things that you want to avoid in your comments. Comments or information unrelated to the San Rafael Swell travel management plan, only voicing general statements or opinions, simply voting for an alternative, and remember that form letters and direct copies will only be considered as one comment. These comments help to bring awareness to how many of us use these roads and trails and will be affected by these proposed travel management plans. Once you've completed all the steps of your comment, you can have your comment converted to a Word document and then sent to your email you provide. The final step is to submit your comment to the BLM via the link provided. This is the most important part to remember. All comment letters made using the tool on the Utah Public Lands site must be submitted to the BLM via their website in order to be taken into consideration. Once you have done this, spread the word. Get your friends and family members to do the same. We need your help to guide them through the process as you have done. And remember, public comments will be accepted up until July 22nd, so do not wait. Click the link in this video or bio and submit your comments now.